welcome. Okay, let's take this tea towel and I'm gonna cut it in half because it's way too big. Now, these are my um, ribbon cutting shears. I've got a piece of ribbon on just so I know not to use them for my transfers. I like to keep them separate. Okay, so we've cut that in half because that is plenty big enough. And then I will just sew the edge of this. So let's put this one aside and I kind of like to do a bunch of lemons and limes. All over this. So Let's I want this one. the one that I got mixed up so that I think that, that is the right way. So I'm just going to grab some yellow. I want to make sure that I get it right into the fabric. I'm going to try and get um, three or four before I have to clean the transfer. I know I can get two for sure. And there's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm putting this transfer down. Just going to put them all over. And we're going to put some limes in here too. And maybe one more. I think I'm pushing it. I think I need to clean it. Trying not to get off the transfer area onto my Tea towel. Tea towel or dish towel? What do you guys call it? I grew up calling it a dish towel. Okay, so we've got that. Let's clean this transfer. I think that would be a great idea. And because I'm using it right away, I'm using a Lysol wipe. Um, I've been using my water bath now that I'm back down in the craft room. But I don't want it to get too wet. That 
that cleaned off now. I'm just going to put that aside to dry. And then I've got some other ones here that I've already washed and dried. I've got some wedges and some hole. Um, I think I'm going to do we'll do some more lemons. I don't know why I have this sitting in here. I guess I could wipe it off. That way I'm not wasting any of it. No. Okay. I just want a bunch of lemons and slices. And then I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do pucker up for my words on here. I want to make sure that you get it right through. And we'll do one more here. that and now we'll do some wedges so let's get that cleaned off I'm trying to be very sparse with my Lysol wipes Okay, so we got that one cleaned. Now, let's do some wedges. My original plan was that I was going to cover the whole thing in lemon slices, but then, I don't know, when I start doing stuff, I change my mind. You just don't feel it, and then you got to change it up, right? Okay. Put that there. Let's clean this because you don't want to get ink anywhere. I'm going to have to put some green in here too because it's looking a little pale. So let's put that away. We'll give this a dry and then we can add some leaves. Okay, so the leaves we're going to do in meadow. Um, where are my other? I have some different leaves that I want to use. Oh, here they are. 
from the When Life Gives You Lemons. I'm going to use the leaves off here. So we will do that right there. Just to give it a little bit more color. And then we'll do the words in black. There we go. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. Just having that one leaf with color. So much better. I think that's good. And then we'll get that cleaned up. Then we'll do the words. Now I can do take the wedge off or pucker up, but I think because they're lemons, we're going to do pucker up. Um, right there. And we're going to do this in black. So this is our black velvet. And these are all inks that I'm using. And there we go. Put a lid on that. Pull this off. Give it a dry. There you go. So now, I'm going to heat set it. And this is um, 30 seconds on each side. And then once that's done, it's permanent. You can put it in the washer, the dryer. If you don't have a heat press, you can use a household iron. And you would do four minutes on each side. And it would be exactly the same as using a, a heat press. Okay, we'll move it. Thirty seconds again. And we're just about done. Okay. 
And then the last one. I guess it would help that I put the timer on. Now I will iron the other side off camera, but I wanted to show you how easy it was to do this. That is it. I'll put that aside. So now this tea towel is permanent. I can put it in the washer and the dryer. I just need to sew up the side seam and we're done. It's super easy. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.